Spring gardens are planted and will eventually turn into summertime vegetables, but there can be problems that crop up. Today we have Terry Jansen, Regional Extension Education Director for Iowa State University, in for our midday moment this afternoon, and he is here to talk all about tomatoes and some potential issues that gardeners out there might face. Welcome, Terry. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I no problem. That. No problem. Tell me a little bit about what kind of issues we're talking about tomato problems. What kind right. of issues um, might gardeners out there face right now? Well, with the spring weather that we've had, cool and wet, and now mm -hmm. we've got very warm temperatures, uh, humidity, and and those kind of things, uh, weather related, we can end up with some issues. And septoria leaf spot is one of the issues that we can have. It's the most common issue and and or disorder that uh, tomatoes end up having. It starts with, on the lower leaves and is small circular spots and eventually it overtakes the leaf and uh, destroys the leaf and, and moves up the plant as well. And, so, and that's what we're seeing right now on those on those photos. Right, right. And is that is that a killer, a total killer? Uh, of the it plant? it uh, will not uh, necessarily kill the plant right away, but eventually over time we could end up having that plant mm -hmm. uh, completely uh, of no benefit, not producing any any fruit. So uh, it's good to catch that early, mm -hmm. and uh, we won't necessarily see these issues until July and August okay. as we move into the growing season. All right. Now uh, you mentioned the fruit. There actually can be some issues with the actual fruit as well then, right? That's right. There's blossom end rot and then there's a concentric or, or radial cracking in okay. fruit in the fruit of the tomato and again these are two very common uh, diseases and disorders and it's really st starts from the plant uh, fluctuating in the moisture that it takes in and it creates some issues with that plant. So uh, we want to avoid uh, fast growing uh, uh, conditions and so nitrogen fertilization. If you over uh, fertilize with nitrogen mm -hmm. you can create some of these problems. So, so cultural practices such as mulching and so forth helps with this but also to make sure that uh, with, especially with uh, uh, the leaf spot, mm -hmm. that we keep the plants as dry as we can and water from the from the base if we can. Now you uh, did bring in a tomato plant. Are we looking at are we looking at a healthy one or, or not so healthy? Well, one? not so healthy okay. plant <laughs> here. If you look at, uh, you can see, and again, uh, some disease issues. Uh, this may or may not be. Uh, uh, leaf spot but uh, if you want to know you can send it down to Iowa State in the pathology lab and then eventually it spreads up but uh, the upper leaves look fine for right now. And Terry before before we go just a quick any any quick tips you have for gardeners out there? Again water at the base, mulch, uh, water in the morning, uh, there's some things that you can do, uh, rotate crops, make sure that you bury the debris of the plants and uh, if you need to you can use a fungicide but always uh, make sure that you read the labels. All right well definitely a good uh, good suggestions there we, we appreciate it. I'm sure the gardeners out there do too. Right. All right thanks so much Terry. Thank you Sarah. We'll be right back after the break.